Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 9-18 that is taken from chapter number 9, Stress Transformation and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is a point on a thin plate is subjected to two successive state of stress as shown. Determine the resultant state of stress represented on the element oriented as shown on the right side. So you can see these are the two successive state of stress clear and we have to show that the sum of these two will be equal to this and we will find this sigma x sigma y and tau of x y so let's start with the solution so we will name this case as a and this case as b so you can see this is the case a that is shown over here so if you want to convert it into this form so this angle is 45 let me show you this angle is 45 so this angle will be also 45 because this is 90 and this remaining is 45 so this total sum is 90 so 45 90 minus 45 will be also 45 so here we can say that let this is your axis which is represented as x and this is your axis which is represented as y clear and for uh, the new axis transform axis this will be x dash and your uh, this axis will be y dash so we know that this axis this theta is equal to clockwise that is minus 45 degree so theta is equal to minus 45 degree clear you can see that sigma x which is in this direction is 85 megapascal and sigma y in this direction is also 85 so sigma x is 85 megapascal sigma y is also 85 megapascal and you can see there is no shear stress so tau of x y is equal to zero so by using trans stress transformation a stress transformation equation our new stress in x dash direction will be equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 this is minus not plus so you have to memorize this formulas into cos of 2 theta plus tau of xy sine of 2 theta so i will put the value 85 plus 85 divided by 2 plus 85 minus 85 divided by 2 and cos of theta is 45 so cos of 2 theta is minus 90 degree plus 0 into sine of minus 90 degree that will give you sigma x dash so sigma x dash when you calculate will be 85 mega pascal so it means that in this x dash direction your sigma x dash will be 85 so this will be your sigma x dash okay now we will find sigma y so for sigma y dash we know that sigma y dash is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into cos of 2 theta minus tau of x y sine of 2 theta so again put the value 85 plus 85 divided by 2 plus 85 minus 85 divided by 2 into cos of minus 90 degree minus 0 into sine of minus 90 degree that will give you sigma y dash and when you calculate it you will get sigma y dash will be also equal to 85 mega pascal so our sigma y dash which we will represent on this element will be this one sigma y dash it will be like this clear 
now we'll find top x y so for transform so top x dash y dash and all these are for case a so i will put a over here so top x dash y dash for a is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into sine of 2 theta plus tau of x y cos of 2 theta so put the value minus 85 minus 85 divide by 2 into sine of minus 90 degree plus 0 into cos of minus 90 degree will give you tau of x dash y dash for case a so when you calculate it you will get this will comes out to be zero it means that there is no shear stress in this condition so we have only sigma x dash and sigma y dash which we have calculated both comes out to be 85 mega pascal now we'll move toward case b and for case b i have already shown it over here so you can see that this you this will be your the line that is perpendicular to this face will be equal to x and this will be equal to y and you can see that this angle is 60 degree so this angle is 60 degree clear so if you rotate it as a 60 degree so this will be your x axis and we are converted into x dash sorry x x dash and this will be your y dash so we will convert theta here is again equal to minus 60 degree that is clockwise so here theta is equal to minus 60 degree you can see that sigma x and sigma y both are equal to zero and only we have tau of x y is 60 mega pascal so this is tau of x y 60 mega pascal so we will convert when you rotate it minus 60 degree or 60 degree clockwise so um, your transformation sigma x dash for b you will use the same formula this is the formula so put the value sigma x is 0 plus 0 divided by 2 plus 0 minus 0 divided by 2 into cos of 2 theta so cos of minus 120 theta is minus 16 plus tau of xy so tau of xy is 60 into sine of 2 theta so sine of 2 theta is minus 120 degree so when you solve this you will get sigma x dash for case b comes out to be minus 51.96 mega pascal similarly you can find sigma y dash for b case will be equal to you will use this formula note down this formula clear this is the formula note down this formula so 0 plus 0 divided by 2 plus 0 minus 0 divided by 2 into cos of minus 120 degree minus 60 into sine of minus 120 degree and again when you calculate it you will get sigma y dash for case b comes out to be this will be plus 51.96 mega pascal and tau of x dash y dash for this case b will be equal to you will use this formula so it will be minus 0 minus 0 divided by 2 into sine of minus 120 degree plus tau of xy which is 60 into cos of minus 120 degree and when you calculate it you will get this will be equal to minus 30 mega pascal now for this if i draw the state of stress like 
this is the state of stress when you convert it in along x dash you have minus 51.60 so minus 51.60 means that this is compressive so this is sigma x dash for b clear and sigma y is 51.6 so it will be tensile this is sigma y dash for this case b and top x dash y dash is minus 30 so it will be like this okay now you have both the cases this is top x dash y dash for b case now you can see that we have been given that this plus this is equal to this so what we will do is that we will take its x dash component y dash component x dash component y dash component and again for this x dash and y dash component and we will add it so this sigma x will be equal to this sigma x will be equal to sigma x dash for a plus sigma x dash for b similarly this sigma y dash uh, sorry sigma y will be equal to sigma y dash for a plus sigma y dash for b and the top of x y for this component will be equal to top of x dash y dash for a plus top of x dash y dash for b so let me write it you can see that this sigma x will be equal to sigma x dash for case a plus sigma x dash for case b so for a it is equal to 85 megapascal and for b it is minus 55 51 so 85 minus 51.96 will be equal to 33 mega pascal similarly sigma y will be equal to sigma y dash for case a plus sigma y dash for case b so for case a it is equal to 85 and for b it is 51 so 85 plus 51.96 will give you 137 mega pascal and the last one is top of x dash y dash sorry top of x y top of x y will be equal to top of x dash y dash for case a plus top of x dash y dash for case b for case A it was 0 and for case B it was minus 30. This is for case A and for this is case B. So it is equal to minus 30 mega Pascal. And this is how we have calculated the answer of our this question. So in last you can say that this sigma x is equal to 33 mega pascal clear sigma y is 137 mega pascal and this is minus 30 mega pascal and that is all about this problem 9-18 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.